This is a video, Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump. You know, this video, Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump, who's your choice? Well, let's go over their resumes. Let's see, Bill Clinton, he is a rapist. And this is documented, there's proof of this. He's a rapist. He is also a child molester. He was once on Russell Brand's uh, island, the guy who invented Virgin Mobile. He was on his island with a known pedophile with several young uh, teenage girls uh, from the age of 13 on up to 15. The guy is a fucking pedophile. And he has raped several women, and these women have come are now coming out. And they uh, admitted that he paid them off to keep their mouth shut. So he is a rapist. He is a child molester. Now, uh, Hillary Clinton is responsible for Benghazi. She is responsible for hiding uh, thousands of secrets in those uh, servers. Um, Hillary Clinton is also hiding the, the, uh, the truth about her sexuality because she is a lesbian. She, uh, she has a girlfriend. She also has several young uh, women that she's always uh, having sex with and bringing them to the hotels every time she's on the campaign trail. I mean, the Clinton's uh, resume, uh, it speaks for itself. Oh, and um, the Ku Klux Klan has been uh, funding money to their uh, to her presidential campaign. Also, she has been getting money from uh, people from Saudi Arabia. She has been getting money from foreign terrorists, and she has she called black people super predators. So she is a racist. And she claims that she's going to be the president for women, but but said nothing about what she's going to do for men, because she's not going to do a damn thing for men. She's going to try to push this whole, she's the president for women, and not going to do a damn thing for men, probably, probably set men up to get executed or something. I mean, who knows, she's probably going to try to get men off the fucking planet. I mean, the bitch is that damn evil. And this and, and Clinton's 2.0. This is something you motherfuckers, and, I, and I'm and I'm being serious. This is something you motherfuckers want in office. You think Clinton 2.0 is gonna save the planet? <laughs> what kind of weed are you motherfuckers smoking? Matter of fact, what kind of crack are you smoking? You must. It must be some real good shit. Now. Then we then we turn to Donald Trump. What can you really say about the guy? What, what kind of crimes has the guy actually committed? Not a damn crime at all. See, the problem is you people hate his speech. That's the only thing you can even say. Every time you bring up something about him, you're always saying how you hate his speech. You can't name any crime he's actually committed because he hasn't committed any. But you always bring up how you hate the guy's speech as if he just started talking like this now. When he was running Miss America, he was talking like this. When he spent the time he spent in WWE, he was talking just like this. On The Apprentice, he was talking just like this. He's been talking like this ever since you've known of the guy. But all of a sudden now he's running for president. You people all of a sudden don't like his speech now, even though he hasn't changed his speech in all these years. He's always sounded just like this. He's not changing it just for the campaign. He's always sounded like this. Ever since you've known of the guy. But you say you hate his speech. Well, that's because you people hate people who actually speak their mind. You like Hillary because she's easily controlled. She'll say whatever you tell her to say. But Donald Trump's not going to say what you tell him to say. He's going to speak his own damn mind. Because he's a real man. He's going to speak his own damn mind. And tell you people how he feels. And if he has to tell you people to shove it and stick it up your ass, he'll tell you that too. And that's the kind of guy we need in office. Somebody that's going to tell you motherfuckers to go fuck yourself. 
That's who we need. That's who's going to change the country. That's who's going to save the planet. Because believe me, if I was old enough to run for president, and I actually had a backing like him, you would get the same thing from me. 100% truth and logic. And I wouldn't be sugarcoating shit. I'd tell you motherfuckers you can kiss my ass. I can sh I'm gonna tell you motherfuckers I shine my shoe, stick it up your ass real nice. I tell you motherfuckers go fuck yourself in a minute. And I get a, I get on the I do a live speech and tell you motherfuckers fuck yourself. See because Obama, this nigga is he's he's half nigga. You know, he you know, his mama white, his daddy black. And, and uh, he got Arabic family members. He got uh, Hawaiian family members. He got mixed with a lot of different shit. You know, he's only part black. See, he ain't all the way black. See, if I was running for some type of office, it would be all the way black. I tell you, motherfucker, you can kiss my ass. I tell you, motherfuckers, in a minute, we can go to the UFC gym. We can go a couple rounds right now, motherfuckers. You get all the way black all the time. Wouldn't be no sugarcoating shit. I don't care what kind of position it is. Wouldn't be no sugarcoating shit. You motherfuckers, you mother, I would tell you motherfuckers to kiss my ass every single day. And see, that's who you need. You need somebody that's going to tell you motherfuckers to kiss their damn ass. Shut your damn mouth before I put my foot up, before I put my foot up your ass so far. You won't even see the sun shining anymore. You know, that's what we need as a president. Somebody's going to tell you motherfuckers to shut your fucking mouth. And see, Donald Trump going to do that. He's going to be him at the end of the day. He'll tell you motherfuckers shut your fucking mouth. He'll tell you motherfuckers I put my foot up your ass. He'll tell you that. And that's what we need. We don't need, we don't need one of these soft ass presidents like we didn't have to sugarcoat every damn thing. No, we need somebody that's gonna tell you motherfuckers where to go. I see that's what you motherfuckers scared of. Somebody telling you where to, where to go. Somebody telling you when you get out of line, I'm gonna put my foot up your ass. See, that's what you motherfuckers are scared of. But that's what we need, and that's what he gonna deliver. And this idea of him building a wall, I don't think it's a bad idea. Because we need to keep these damn illegals out of this fucking planet, because ISIS keep coming over the border with their ass. So we need to keep them out of the fucking planet. We need to build the damn wall. That's what we need to do. So I think a lot of his ideas are great. Those are the kind of ideas we need to make the country better. And his idea to run the country like a business instead of running it like a politician, I think that's a great idea too. We need something different. We need to shake it up a little bit. Because running it like a politician obviously hasn't worked in like, a, like hundreds of years. All the way back into Washington, it, President Washington, it hasn't it hasn't worked. The running it like a politician shit has not worked. So we need, we need something completely different, something completely fresh and new, running it like a damn business. Let's go ahead and do that and run with it. It's something new, something fresh. It's not the same watered-down bullshit that we've been having. Because all this other shit ain't working. All it's doing is getting more terror attacks, more people killed each and every year. We need something new. Run it like a business. Let's see how that works. You gotta be t a million times better than the, than the run it like a politician shit that we've been doing all these years that has never worked. So when you go and cast your ballots, you ask yourself, Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump? Everything I've said in this video speaks for itself. As a matter of fact, the only people who probably should vote for Hillary Clinton are uh, probably homosexuals 
lesbians, the LGBT community, I should be the only motherfuckers who really should vote for the bitch. But you gonna have some stupid ass women that's gonna be uh, uh, seduced by Hillary Clinton, and they gonna vote for because they some dumb bitches. But any any niggas or guys that vote for her, you out your fucking mind, man. Because you're going to be the one that's going to pay the price. You already talking about she only for the women. You you motherfuckers, you men do it for her. You're going to pay the fucking price, man. You're going to hang all the rest of us of men to slaughter. So that's what you need to do. You need to do the right thing. You need to vote Republican. If you're a Democrat, you need to switch to Republican. You need to do the right thing. Now... Really, the truth in the matter is she fooling a lot of you women, too, talking about she for women. They say it's several, it's several uh, things out there proving that she's never been for women. So, a lot of you women, is, uh, the ones that still have common sense. There's a lot of a lot of bitches out here, they ain't got no fucking common sense. But the ones that still got a brain, you need to vote Republican. The other people, anybody that still has common sense knows truth and logic, still has a damn brain, still has brain cells. You need to vote Republican, whether you're Democrat or whatever, you need to vote Republican if you have brain cells. If not, be like the mindless sheep, the jackasses, the fucking idiots on the planet, the bottom feeders, the pieces of shit under your shoe, and you go ahead and vote Hillary. But if you still have a brain, and you actually want to save the country, switch to Republican.